Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Z Crafting. My name is Eros and in the last episode we made our fabulous penguin exhibit and you guys came up with some really really awesome names to name those penguins and they're so adorable. Maybe we'll make some penguin babies today. I think that'll be a lot of fun and I think we need a fish in order to do that. And speaking of fish, I think forest. Literally. Like, caught a fish somehow? Why is there a fish here? <laughs> like, I don't even know. Pixie and Pixel, did you- oh! Thank you! Thank you for the raspberry, but did you put a fish here? Or was that- I'm pretty sure. Was it forest? Forest. Forest, what are you doing? I don't- I don't even know. Uh, but today what we're gonna do is we are gonna go on a little adventure. Uh, because we are going to look for some more wintry type of animals to put inside of our wintry cave exhibit. Uh, so I'm gonna set my puppies down. I mean, I could take one of them, maybe. Maybe we'll take Daisy with us. Daisy, do you want to come with us? Uh, we'll take Daisy, and I might need to bring some more food. I don't know how long we'll be out there. But we're gonna go to a wintry area and see what we can find. And maybe that will help us decide, like, what animals we should have. Because we'll just be able to, like, find some animals and see if they need a new home. So we're gonna grab some of these different types of food. We're just gonna grab a bunch of stuff that we have in our fridge, Raider. Um, and let's see, I did clear out two of my backpacks. So I can put some food in here. There we go. And here's puppy food. We can leave that out. And put some tea in there. And I have some safari nuts. I'm not sure how many we'll need. I suppose I could. What I could do is, like, bring the supplies to make some more safari nuts. So let's see, how do we make them again? Uh, leather and animal glue or slime and string. All right, so let's go and grab some of those supplies just so we have them on hand because you never know, you never know when you're gonna need a bunch of different types of animals uh, and you need to bring them home in safari nets. So let's go ahead and grab some string and let's see, we're gonna need some leather. And I'm pretty sure, ooh, oh yeah. <laughs> These, these have, these have animals in them. We definitely have to work on those soon. There's just so many different things to do. We can take these slime balls with us. Uh, we can use those. And then, let's see, do I have any leather up here? I do, I do, I do, I do, ooh. Let's go ahead and grab this leather. And there's 19 pieces, and I might have more. Uh, but I think we'll be good for now. We can check our traps, too, to see if there's any leather in those. And also get some fish so we can breed some of our penguins. Some of our precious little penguin buddies. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. I love penguins. And there's that fox again. Hello, Foxy. <laughs> How are you doing? And how's Maple? Hi, Maple. Maple, our little maple tree spirit. Sometimes she gets, like, stuck on the fence, I think. And then she, like doesn't want to do anything, but that's okay. Maybe she'll harvest some of the crops soon. And hi, Frosty. Uh, let's go over here and check our fish trap. There we go. We got some stuff in here. What is that? Oh my gosh, a raw eel. That's really, really scary. Uh, and what we can do with these is we can actually turn them into fish like so. And we can have more fish to breed our penguins with. So let's go ahead and do this. And make some of them into the normal fish. There we go. And let's go ahead. Oh my gosh, that roll you <laughs> That's so scary. Oh my goodness. It's so scary. Uh, there we go. And then we have a raw tuna too and a raw bass. And we take some of these and turn them into fish bait once again. Like so. And it's like a never-ending cycle of fish. Like that. And I want my string back. Uh, let me have my string back. Oh no. It's so cold in here. It's so cold. I'm freezing. Oh gosh, get out. Ah, fuck, save me. Save me. Okay. We're fine. Everything is great. Okay. <laughs> and we can go ahead and put some of the stuff in here. The leather and the string. Uh, we have a frog too. Hmm. I wonder... Ooh, foxes probably like frogs. Do you want this frog, buddy? There you go. You can have that. You can eat it whatever you want to. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's see. I'm trying to figure out what we'll need. We can check on the penguins before we go. We have a little bit of dog food. We might need to get some more. We can go ahead and stop and get some of that. And then we can go to a snowy area. And the only snowy area that I can think of offhand is actually the North Pole area that we did around Christmas time. So I think what we're going to do is head on over to the North Pole. And then we can kind of explore from there and see what we find. And hopefully we find some really, really fun things. Uh, let's go ahead and get some dog food first. Just so Daisy has some extra food in case we need it. 
And then we can go check in with our little penguins and make some penguin babies. Hi, horse! <laughs> and hello, Chef Sigma. How are you doing today? And let's go ahead and get some chicken with oatmeal and pumpkin. Oh, yeah, and you guys came up with some really awesome names for um, some new dog food, which I will be putting in very, very soon. Uh, but your suggestions for the last episode, if you want to suggest a different type of, like, recipe for some dog food, uh, let me know so I can add that in there. Uh, and then we have a little bit more food, got some money, we got some raspberries, let's go make some baby, baby penguins, baby penguins, oh my goodness, I hopefully, they use fish to breed, and hopefully, like, oh, they're gonna be super adorable, I know it, I just know they're gonna be adorable, so let's go ahead over here, and the snow chickens, snow chickens, they are so amazing, they make so much snow, <laughs> they do, oh, that's so nice, Let's go through here. Let's see if any of our penguins are out and about. Let's see. <laughs> they must be outside. They really like to go out in the outside area. There's one of the penguins. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Uh, how are you doing, buddy? <gasps> peppermint. Oh, you're so cute, Peppermint. Oh, you're so adorable. And then, oh, hi, Chili. Oh, my gosh. They are so cute. And hello, Waddles. And who's down here? Pebbles and a snowball. So let's see. If I give you guys fish, will you make a love, is it, and make a baby penguin? <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh snap. You are so adorable. Look at you. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. We need to make another one. Peppermint. Peppermint and chili. Make the babies. Make it. Oh my gosh. Why are they so adorable? <laughs> like, so, like, look at their big heads. Oh my gosh, I love it. Uh, so we're going to need some name suggestions for these brand new little babies. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Do you want to come over here, buddy? Oh, there we go. Uh, let's have him get out of the water. We can put you over here next to, I guess, kind of like your family. Just say we'll, fa we'll just say family. <laughs> we have two little tiny penguins. They're so adorable. I love them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love I love baby animals. All right, so definitely they use fish to breed, which is good to know. And let's go ahead and close this up. And we're going to head on over to the North Pole. In order to get to the North Pole, we're actually going to use our teleporter if it still works. Um, I do have Ember on me too, our Phoenix, where we can use her to kind of fly around if we choose to fly around the area. And it is getting nighttime, so maybe I will go sleep. But I'll see you guys once we have arrived safely to the North Pole to go look for some wintry animals. And we have arrived to the North Pole, and it seems like everyone is pretty busy. So we're going to let them do their own thing and kind of hang out. Oh, there's a little maid out here. Oh my gosh. What's going on? There's like a little maid. Do you have a home, little guy? Uh, she's holding a snowball. Hi. I'm not too sure what she's doing out here. Maybe she's one of little Santa's, like, helpers. So we're going to leave her alone for now. What's over here? There's little ducks? They're baby ducks. Did somebody, like, breed ducks over here? I don't even know. But there is a duck egg. Ooh. Maybe we'll take this little duck egg and see. Because the duck egg is kind of just, like, hanging out on the ice. Are these, like, ice? Ice ducks? I don't know. Oh, there's fish under here, too. There's fish under the ice. Oh, my gosh. This is so fun. Uh, we could do like a like a fish exhibit like for the wintery cave area maybe we'll have like a really cool like fish area for that uh i want to know why there's so many ducks over here um but what we're gonna do now is we're just going to kind of wander around this area and see what we can find and if we can find any animals that might be very uh good for our wintery cave look at this look at this inspiration oh my gosh i totally want to build something like this oh there's a raccoon do you need help raccoon uh, let's see, do I have my shovel? I do not, but I do have a little bit of wood. Uh, let me go ahead and go up here a little bit. And let's see if we can get this raccoon and get him out of this whole area. There we go. Let me get out here. And there you go, little raccoon. Um, I hear an owl. Do you guys hear that? If it's a snowy owl, that might be really nice. And there's butterflies here. Is it you? Is it a dove, actually, instead of an owl? I might be you. I think it's a dove. <gasps> dove sounds. Dove sounds. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of birds over here in the wintery area. Or the North Pole, I should say. Uh, looks like there's chocobos. And there's another little maid. Oh my goodness. Another one. And what is that noise? Must be one of these birds over here. 
Uh, maybe we can get a chocobo one day. That'd be really fun to do, because with chocobos, there's this really cool breeding system with them. And you can breed the chocobos and get different color chocobos, and it's a lot of fun. So I wonder... Hmm. Hello, little guy. Hi! You're so cute. You're holding a snowball. Uh, let me know if you guys think we should get a chocobo. Uh, and maybe we can come over here and see if anyone wants to be- Oh, there's a chocobo feather! Let's grab this feather, there we go. Uh, and then we can do a little bit of chocobo breeding. That'll be fun. And there's some chickens. Are you guys snow chickens? I don't think so. Let's see, there's chocobos over here. There's more ducks, which is really funny. I don't know why there's so many ducks out here. Hi! There's ducks everywhere. Ducks for days. Uh, let's go ahead and get this feather. And let's see. Let's see. I don't see too many animals. Oh, there, I do see a lot of birds and things. Oh, hi! There's a boar. Not exactly the animal that we're looking for. Maybe we can head on over to this little island area and see what we can find. And I suppose if we can't find any animals, we can always have Dex and Asuna, um, our research student, kind of see if any areas around us are looking to hand on over some animals that need a home, a forever home for adoption, and they can come live in our park. But it would be fun to kind of like go out in the wild and find some of our own animals. And there's a boar. And there's a fox over here. Not an arctic fox. It would be nice to be able to find an arctic fox. And there is another little maid over there. Oh my goodness. This is like little maid heaven down here. <laughs> I really think they're probably... <gasps> arctic fox! Arctic fox! Ar and a goat. <laughs> goat, what are you doing? But we found an arctic fox! Hi! 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 Arctic Fox! Arctic Fox! Okay, I think we definitely need to take this little Arctic Fox, buddy. Uh, let's see, are you alone, little guy? I think you're alone. Do you want to come with me and you can live in this really awesome snow cave? It'll be a lot of fun. And we found an Arctic Fox. We found an Arctic Fox! Okay, okay. We're gonna get this way, little guy. Awesome! And we also have this duck egg, too. <laughs> Which I'm not sure we're gonna do with this duck egg. And I wonder, looks like somebody... Got in a fight or something. Let's see, there's a raccoon. Lots of ducks. Oh my gosh. It was a raccoon. The raccoon was eating that those chickens. Oh my goodness. More little maids. And there's some other types of penguins down here too. I wonder what these types are called. If they have any like specific names. I kind of just want to see. Let's see if we grab him with a safari net. And look in here. And it says it's an African penguin. All right, so we know there's some African penguins over here, which is pretty cool. But all these ducks, like, there's like a duck explosion. Like, there's so many ducks. Why are there so many ducks? Uh, but yeah, some African penguins. I don't know if the African penguins would do too well in our snowy exhibit. Uh, but in the future, if we ever need African penguins, we know where we can find some. Let's see, more butterflies, more birds, so many ducks. Why? Like, why are there so many ducks? I'm so... Uh, oh, and there's a wild puppy! Hi, puppies! Hi, wild wolves! I see two wolves, so I think they're part of a pack. So they should be okay. And more ducks. So many ducks. I don't even know. Let's see, oh dear, there's some deer over here. And a bunny! Are you a snow bunny? I think this might be a snow bunny because it's all white. We found a snow bunny! A snow bunny! Oh, two snow bunnies! Two snow bunnies! Two snow bunnies! Two snow bunnies! Hey, hey, hey! Alright, we definitely need to take these snow bunnies with us. Do you want to come with us, little guy? Um... Oh, if I remember correctly, though... You can't actually safari net... Uh, a bunny. If I remember... Oh, actually, never mind. Never mind! Uh, I was able to do so. Alright, so let's go ahead and get these snow bun buns. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have definitely an arctic- Ooh, hello. Hello, cheery spirit. How are you doing? I'm um, definitely going to have an arctic fox um, exhibit and a snow bunny exhibit. Uh, if we can catch this other snow bunny. Let's see. Snow bunny, you're going to have a wonderful home. There we go. We got our two snow bun buns. Oh, that is so fun. And our arctic fox. And where's the other bunny? There we go. There we go. Other bunny is right there. And let's go ahead and put these over there. And let's see what else we can find. We can hear those deer, which are really, really loud. They have like the really loud noise. There's some more birds. And what's over this way? 
There's some doves over here too. Another snow bun bun and another arctic fox. Hi! Oh, we, we definitely need to get another arctic fox, that's for sure. And let's see, let's move this. And oh, another snow bunny. Oh my gosh, they're all snow bunnies. Uh, let's get this fox and then let's see. I don't know if we need any more snow bunnies though. I might leave these ones here uh, unless they need help. If they look like they need like any rescuing or any help, we can definitely take them with us. But I think we'll leave those two. There's another bunny. So I think these two are kind of like um, fine with being by themselves. And let's see. Ooh, what's over here? Let's see, let's see. What is this? I've never seen this before. I don't even know what this is. And there's like a fence over there. Interesting. Very interesting. Somebody has been here. <laughs> somebody knows what this area is. Maybe this is somebody's like, by somebody's house. I'm not too sure. Does anybody live by the North Pole? <laughs> let's see, there's some deer over here. I kind of want to check this area out and see. There's another one of those weird pillar things. Hmm, what does this mean? I don't know. And there's more ducks. And there's like a really cool cave down there. And there's some piggoos! Little piggies. And let's see, there's some sheepies. Some more birds. And I want to like head over to this fence area. Another snow bun bun! Hi snow bunny! You're so cute. You're so cute. Uh, but yeah, there's like this fenced area. Hmm. Oh, ow! <laughs> I fell down! And let's see, it looks like... Maybe... Oh, this is part of the, um... This is part of the, uh, North Pole area. This is one of the fishing area. Where we had some narwhals in here, I think. Alright, alright, I see, I see what's going on here. Alright, so this is one of the fish exhibits. And then, let's see, we, oh, we have, like... A violet flower. We found a violet flower. Now we're in the desert. Who would have known? Who would have known the North Pole was pretty close to a small little desert area? Um, let's head on over here. And it is getting nighttime, so you might have to find some shelter very, very soon. But I'm pretty happy. So far, we have found some snow bunnies and some arctic foxes. So we are going to need some special names for them and maybe some suggestions for their different types of habitats. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Zoo Crafting and let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And I'll be back with you guys next time when we explore the wintry area some more and see if we can find any more animals. Oh my gosh. So many birds and there's a mole. Holy moly. Guacamole. <laughs> Bye.